can you turn around a rent to own deal, in this case, an AO in just seven days? Hey guys, it's Chris Pree and welcome to another Deal Structure Sunday. I am with Steve and Lauren Mernick again. This is gonna become quite the regular thing with these guys cranking. Uh, High Six Associates out of Connecticut. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey Yay. Chris, thanks for having us. I don't say welcome anymore because you're a regular. <laughs> regular. All well, right, let's talk about this deal. It's pretty cool in a lot of ways. So um, first let's do the basics and then we'll jump into how it got cool. So the source was, uh, source was Lauren sent out a for rent by owner slide broadcast. For rent by owner slide broadcast for those listening, viewing. We do this all the time. We forget like people don't know everything we're talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the slide broadcast, uh, you you sent out uh, how many? Like a couple hundred or? Oh dear, I don't remember on this one. It was probably like 150, maybe 200. Okay, so 150 messages go out so these guys know who are watching and they go to the people's voicemails. This was in this case a for rent by owner. Uh, mm -hmm. not an expired or FISBO, so pretty cool for them to hear. That went out what day? Lauren sent out a for rent by owner slide broadcast Thursday morning, and on Friday morning, I went and made my uh, first contact to whoever my calls were. And when I talked to the owner on this property, uh, let's see here. She it sounded like a tired. Like yeah, well, she was a tired, so I'll re read what I wrote down. So luckily well not luckily for her but luckily for us she had some some pain threshold on this one she had two evictions on another property and this specific property she had a person that had a year lease that left after six months because she found a house and she didn't Bye. yeah she didn't hold her you know accountable for it she said that's, that's okay just give me two months to go ahead and market it for another renter so when i had talked to her she had mentioned these things so i was at least able to push the whole when she was talking about evictions, well, it would be nice if you had a, you know, a buyer in the house that could, you could accomplish the same thing, but not worry about the maintenance repairs. Wouldn't that mm -hmm. sound a little better? And then she was really intrigued. We had a longer conversation about it. So, you know, just to move forward, we ended up scheduling the time to see the property two days later on Sunday. Now, did you know, I forget, did you know going in, this was going to be an AO or no? No. Uh, no. I think maybe when she talks to her. Yeah, but when I talked to her, just going by what was most important to her. Uh, yeah, for rent by owner typically is so these guys hear it. I mean, they're renting now. You just took right. away the pain and said, let's do the same thing, really. Yeah. And what I didn't know about, obviously, until I talked to her, she the listing that it was for sale as well. So that's why this whole, the whole AO side of the thing was like a perfect fit for her because she could accomplish both at the same time. Right. She yep. could go it still and sell yeah. it at, at some point. Yeah. And what was, talk about the numbers a little bit before we talk about the sell side. Um, like you get, you guaranteed her a minimum of what, like what were the numbers looking like? Mm -hmm. So she was asking 275 for the property, $275,000. And after looking, she was right on. She had a real yeah. friend that gave her numbers. After checking it out, she was right on the money. So didn't ask any questions. So we gave her her minimum of 275. We brought it to the market at uh, mm -hmm. 300. Mm -hmm. And we guaranteed that we would give her a third of the non-refundable down payment. So a third of this, which we brought to the market at 300, would obviously be brought to the market 300. There's 25 thousand dollars in between. So she ends up getting. She ended up getting what is it? It was like 8,750 on top of our asking price. Yeah, but then as it turns out, she's also getting. We'll get to this, I think. But their down payment, they're putting down more. They put down a full 10% of yeah. the 300. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's, let's do the numbers, but let's go back to, Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you went out there on what day and you signed it right away, Steve? <clears throat> yeah, so I went out on Sunday to see the property with the AO in hand, uh, with obviously the intentions of getting it signed. The one thing that was most important to her was that it was not exclusive. She wanted yep. to be able to still try to sell it on her own. And right, I, I think, right? Rent or sell. Something. She still yeah, wanted she a chance wanted to, to be able whatever. to market the property separately. Uh, we just we moved right past that, made it a non-exclusive. Okay, right. so just let me butt in for the, the, the viewers, because I don't want them to think realtor, 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 when you use those word exclusive. So all they're saying for the viewers, guys, is we are, we have no problem, especially on an AO, AO usually, to let them market. Uh, it, the chance of us selling it for us are high, very high, not always a given. You can have headaches with that. But in this case, it worked. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. So you got her out, you got her signed up on a Sunday, right? 
Yep. She signed up on Sunday. Lauren blasted that I property. Said, God, you do, you're, I sent an yourself. email campaign to our buyer list via our CRM, FreedomSoft. And it was actually, it was an email about a, another property that we had, actually. I'd sent that before I'd even known we had gotten this one. And then I sent a, when I got a response from the interested party, by the way, we also have another one that may be a little bit closer to your work. So she said, oh, this sounds great. I really, I would like to see both, but I really want to see this one in particular because it's, it's closer, it's less of a drive. So we set up a viewing for her the next day, which would have been Monday. She saw it, they saw it. She loved it. She sent me an email saying how much she liked it and you know, the plan that she wanted to put down in terms of a down payment. Now, just a little backstory. This was a, this was a person who was interested in another house that we had that didn't end up working out. Oh, he, yeah. So we had, I had already gone through, you know, her next step form. So I'd already gone through the process with her Screen of down payments and all of that stuff. So this was simply like for us, like, uh, you know, last time we talked about X money down this time, I want to put this much down. Um, she went through screening yeah. tenant too. She went to, yeah, she had already gone through the screen, the tenant last time too. So there's a bunch of little things I wrote down. Then, then you guys will pick yeah. back up there. Just in no particular order. So you said uh, prop stream. Is that what you said? Freedom soft. Freedom, freedom soft. Yeah. So let me tell for the viewers, it is a new software that we've all kind of migrated to. You can go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash freedom soft. Okay. Um, yeah. If you want more information on that. Then you mentioned uh, buyer's list. How big's your buyer's list? And I'm asking this on purpose, I know the answer, but did you have to build that list like wholesalers do before getting properties or did it just organically happen? No, it just, it just sort of happened for us actually. So as we were getting, or, you know, as we had our first property and that we, we were putting on, you know, various websites, people started going, obviously going to our website and filling out the contact form. Yeah. Because what, you know, the property maybe didn't fit them or was out of their price range or whatever. Right. So they wanted to be notified when we have a new property come. And how big is it now, Lauren? Do you know? You look. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's probably only like 15 or 20, but still. It worked. It's big enough to yeah. sell it in an hour. You only, need, you only need one, as I always say. What else did exactly. I write down? Uh, I wrote down viewing and next step form. So we have a next yeah. step form that is the protocol. They're, they're taught that when they go through the videos, but also... Did you guys, do you guys go to the viewings? I want the, the listeners and the viewers to, to hear this. No, I never go. I never go to a viewing. I, you know, I'm not a realtor, so I'm not going to do any showings. We have lock, box. lock boxes on the property and I don't let anybody know what the code is until I know they're under, you know, they have an understanding of our property and they're interested in moving forward since it doesn't work for everyone. So, you know, this particular person, I know she, this is exactly what she needed. So it was very simple for me. You know, this is where you need to go. This is the code for the lockbox. Let me know how you make out that sort of thing. So it was, it was a quick and simple. I mean, it was literally an hour after we, we, you got the contract signed that we set up the viewing for the next day. And then the next day she emailed me that night saying, we love it. We want to move forward. Let me know what we need to do. And then this buyer. Okay. So back to the numbers, they did put down like 25 or 30 grand over the course 30. of time. Yep. And the sell made out great because you guaranteed her or him a minimum of 275. Yep. They got the 275 due at closing plus a third. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They got to be tickle pink. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's in. She ended up making more money. I think she's she's at she's going to take the seller. I mean, is going to get an extra thirteen thousand two fifty. Then you promised. Yep. Yep. Then yep. Then she had originally hoped for. So nice. Yep. Perfect. Uh, let's see. What did I write? I, that's all I wrote down on that. Okay. For questions, I just wanted them to get kind of piece that all together. So uh, you did the, this wasn't your first AO, but so you did the standard AO forms, had the attorney set, close it. If it wasn't for a delay in the 401k, that whole closing was set up like within seven days. Yeah, it would have been. Yep. Yeah. It would have been probably, I think the second or third day of the month, this month. And instead it was like a two week delay. It was like two weeks. Yeah. Plus. That was, you know, before okay, but still not a bad deal for, for payday no. one of 25 grand. Yeah. No, right. Not at all. Sweet. Any other nuances you guys that I didn't pick up on? Uh, no nuances. Um, I mean, it definitely took a little bit of explaining to do when we got to the point of, uh, 
uh, the funds being dispersed. Oh, for the salary, um, I mean? Yeah, I think I just had to have a conversation with her just to let her know um, you're going to be receiving, obviously, what we said, but we, we work with deserving buyers that sometimes need to spread out their payments. So not everybody has 10% down. Day uh, one. That's great. Yeah. That's like best case scenario. Um, but this buyer who was, you know, someone that exactly that who we're looking for in a buyer, we're able to schedule all these payments so that by the time she purchased the property, she would have the full 10% down. So exactly. we made a, a scheduled payment plan with her so that they could be able to afford the payments, afford the down payments, and be able to be in the best position possible by the time they reach their financing date. And after that was all explained, it all makes sense. But I think there's a bit of miscommunication at first, but now, you know. Okay, so let me ask you guys this, um, important to know for them, for the viewers, the, so their lease that you now assigned over to the seller, because it's an AO, yep. it calls for them to make the down payments to you and the lease to the seller. I, know, I didn't ask you guys if you did that. I hope you did that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All down payments are scheduled to come to us first, Great. and then we will disperse to the seller. All of their rent payments are being paid directly to the seller. Love it. So you guys control it. You get the deposit and you send her a third. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Anything else that we didn't that we didn't hit? No, I mean this was this was a good this was a good learning um, a learning uh, what's was learning experience experience for <laughs> to see how you know when people are ready they're ready. So yeah. That's why you don't want to get caught up when I like you're making phone calls you you land when the people are ready they're ready. It's it's unbelievable to see how like I've talked to people for months that haven't been yeah. ready and I'm like why are these people What's the holdup? And then you just land all these people in a row that are ready. It just puts perspective to the sellers that you land in the past and how important motivation is and how important is the digging to find out what the real motivation and is. And it's not you, other than being good at script, but it's not it's right. not you. You can't change yeah, exactly. the timing. Right. And exactly. some, some of these people who are motivated, they're so motivated by the time mm -hmm. you finish a deal, there could be motivation that you miss because they're so ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. That's awesome. So speaking of that, how many uh, takings do you guys have so far? So we Six. have, well, seven, if you consider oh, the yeah, first one. Oh, yeah, seven if you count the first one. Yeah, if we didn't actually sell the first one. But that's now seven since last November, late last November. Well, we got the first one in March. You said since last November. Yeah, we started. Since that's we when we started. started. We started. Yeah. yeah. So most of those came in the last what, though? Oh, my God, we month. four in a month and a half. <laughs> a month. Four in the last four weeks. Yeah, exactly. Mm, okay, I'm saying that on purpose because the trajectory for any business yeah not just the learning curve with, with the wicked smart community is that it's just like anything else. It catches up. Yeah. Yep. Really cool. Definitely. All right, guys, appreciate you being on. Um, I also want these guys to know if, if they didn't see you guys yet, they can check you out on Facebook live with Zach and they also can check out the podcast because it's important that they know your background was not in real estate and there right. was a learning curve and here we are. So it's going to be pretty yep. cool. Exactly. And, and, um, that's another seller calling you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good, good deal. <laughs> Guys, if you want more information on the deal structures, just make sure you're subscribed here because it's every Sunday. In addition to that, be sure to jump on the Wicked Smart Sit Down, which is the third Thursday of every month, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You can come with deals. You can come and just listen. You can come with questions about the programs, whatever you want. It's free for the entire Wicked Smart community. Third Thursday of the month, four o'clock. Get your Zoom link from support. Guys, thanks for being on again. Thank, Thank you, Chris. You.